Welcome everybody to the Pilot Point Bearcat Gunner Post Game Show brought to you exclusively by CS Designs. I'm Chance Kirby. I'm here with their vice favorite assistant coach Travis Marsh. This show is going to be a little bit different than the ones in the past because I'm certain if you're a Pilot Point fan listening to this, you do not want to relive that game in every intricate detail. And if you're listening to us from Gunner, hate to disappoint you, but we're not going to play at all. So, well, I don't want to go through it detail by detail either. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to kind of do a macro approach of the game. I'm more interested in. I think everyone in town and at the coffee shop is interested in where do we go from here. So I kind of want that to be our focus. There are some things well, just real quick hits I'll, though well, in I the want, game. I want to. Uh... To start out, and I have a couple of questions for you. And for me, this, yes, okay. and this is a obviously a setup because I know that uh, you spent a lot of time putting together kind of a history of Pilot Point. Um, yes, it's let's call it an obsession. Let's be let's, honest. Uh, let's get a little historical background here, as far as uh, you know. When was the sure. last? Yeah, go, go. You take the reins. You well, go from here. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm giving you up. away our guide for this week. And um, as those of you that don't know, we put out a Pilot Point Bearcat Insider print edition. It's available sometime on Thursday, every Thursday before the game, and you get a lot of info um, and history and whatnot. And there's a section on there called Streaks and Trends, and then I dig through the numbers and kind of give you interesting facts. And the first fact is the last time that we were beat by 53 points was November 4th, 2011 by Whitesboro. And uh, I talked to you previously, and uh, with, there's a common theme between these two losses, 53 points. Uh, the Whitesboro quarterback in 2011 was Jordan Gill, uh, son of head coach at the time, Eddie Gill. And uh, he was the offensive coordinator for the Gunner Tigers on uh, Friday night. So it's like the lose by 53 point twilight zone. <laughs> it is. He, he Cue the music. He's got the last two. He, he's, uh, he's there. Yeah. Now... With that bit said, go ahead. I've got, yeah, I've got a few more if you want all. Uh, if you want uh, a preview for all of them, I have. Um, go it's for the it. first time in school history that we've been beat fifty-nine to six. Okay. So yay, 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 guys! History making <laughs> yay, performance. Yes. Um, Maybe it'll be now, the only this time. Is, this is one, and, and I know you're gonna. I know you well enough to know the coaching analogy that you're gonna throw out. Coach speak. You're gonna throw out the minute I say this. But I found this interesting that Pilot Point is 53, 66, and 3 following two consecutive losses. Go ahead. I know what you're going to say. No. Did I stump you? No. I'm, Losing is contagious. Uh, and no, I think I, that this was, shows that. I was trying to think of a, a positive spin without cursing because my father is in the room with me. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, well, we're here in the old Bearcat studio. You're, you're remote. This is a remote podcast today. So my, is coconut in the coconut palace? Uh, coconut is not available currently. But okay. um, no, losing is contagious, and losing streaks aren't accidental normally. Um, I think for us it was a, a heartbreaker the the week before, and then a, just a blowout by a really good football team uh, that followed. So I don't know if it's a an indicator of future outcomes as much as it was just kind of a, a, a no, but a I, I storm think a perfect that- storm history says that if you've lo- lost in Bearcat history twice in a row you better write the ship pretty quick because history says it it's not going to get better yeah. um, we haven't had two consecutive losses since 2018 okay and then uh, we're two and three following history following a loss to Gunner okay so another another one we're on the wrong side of that was only the eighth time, which I thought this was interesting, and this is a positive for Pilot Point Bearcat football. It's only the eighth time in school history we've ever been beat by 50 points. I mean, there are some schools that have been beat by 50-plus points eight times in one season. Hmm. Yeah. And then, um, positive note, when we're on the good side of, we are 4-3 and three the week following getting beat by 50-plus points. Okay. And... And then this one I thought was fun. Um, I'm still digging to add some more for the guide, so you guys can still go to that page and look. But looking forward to next week, when we play schools located in Parker County, we are 9-9-3. Nine, nine, well, all right. 
<laughs> so that's great. That's, a, that's digging deep. Yeah, the, bearcat the, lore right there. Yeah, geographical bearcat success. Yes. Um, now we're going to take a quick break, get a good commercial from uh, CS Designs, and then when we come back, uh, we're going to answer the important question that you asked of where do we go from here. Are you looking to build that dream home or barn dough? CS Designs offers a complete range of design services. CS Designs products range from general drawing services to commercial and residential blueprints as well as 3D renderings and virtual reality walkthroughs. Let Cole Stewart and the CS Design team design you a beautiful progressive home or building that translates your ideas into an outstanding reality. Visit their website at csdesignstx.com or give them a call at 940-365-4048. Okay, we're back. Thank you, CS Designs. Uh, you guys need to check that out. And actually, real quick, a testimonial. I spoke to a person in Pilot Point that hired CS Designs to do some plans for them, and they told me that they had never heard of CS Designs until listening to our podcast and that if CS Designs was willing to support the Bearcats and they needed plans, then they thought, why not support someone that supports the Bearcats? So, there's a win for Bearcat Insider. There it is. We we have delivered a sale, direct sale, to an advertiser. I'm in. I like it. Now, where do said, we go? Where do we go from here? <laughs> first, first thing is, and, and just a quick recap of Gunner, and then we're going to be over it. Um, Gunner, and, and, and this is it's in a shot at, at the Bearcats, um, is, is more than the scoreboard said so. Gunner's a really good football team, and they're better than us right now. I, I, yeah, I, that's not no question. That's not going out on a limb. That's not a hot take. Um, that is what it is. Um, it, it was kind of an eye opener though because that's where we want to be, um, and, and we want to believe that we can compete with with schools like that and teams like that. But the the nature of the beast is is on last Friday night we weren't ready for it. Uh, we didn't want to compete hard enough. We didn't want to get after it hard enough. We didn't want to. Uh, to, to put ourselves out there to the point that, that Gunner is willing to. Um, and, you know, that's something that we're going to have to grow as a football team from that point forward because um, blowing everything up right now does us no good. Um, you mean we can't switch to a triple option? That wouldn't be a wise move no, to start over and no, reinvent an no, offense in no, a week? That would set us back because we have so much time invested in what we do that you're hitting the reset button without any real time to do anything better. Well, and, I, I know the knee-jerk reaction. The, well, go ahead. Of, I want you to say a knee-jerk reaction of a, of a fan, of whether it's the, for you, Baylor Bears, me, the Texas Longhorns, or your Pilot Point Bearcat fan. When yeah. you have two losses in a row and things look bad, then you immediately want change. You're like, you you're like hey well let's just do this and that's easy to say from my perspective but i know that's probably not a reality and i'm and that's what you're saying that we just can't wholesale redo everything because we've lost two games well i guess you have to i don't in the system i don't know what play calls coach freeze or coach peacock have for kids that don't believe they can win and that's what happened and I don't think that, that was just limited to the kids because you got on to me Friday night for the same thing after the game when I asked you, I told you, sorry, didn't ask you that this one didn't sting as bad as the cab. And you're like, you're part of the problem. <laughs> yes. In so many words, that's exactly what I said. And, um, pretty directly. And, <laughs> and the, <laughs> the, the problem is, is that. I I believe there was a little bit of a mentality that we didn't have a chance in that game anyway, so let's just get through it. Um, and yeah. and we have to get to the point as a program and as athletes and as coaches and as fans where, man, we 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 think we have a chance against anybody. Um, and as Bearcat fans, that's what we should have because that's been our mantra ever since I can remember is that we were going to win and we were going to beat whoever we were going to beat just because we're the pilot point Bearcats. And that's what we have to get back to. Um, but then you also have to, that belief has to be equaled by the amount of work and the amount of effort and the amount of care and the amount of everything that, that we put into the program. Well, who, where does that start? Yeah, you know, and, and that's a great question. Does it start at the top and trickle down or does it start at the bottom and work its way up? I don't know. 
Um, I because I I I just know from my perspective, from my view, is I did not hear a single coach say, "There's no way we're going to win this game." So let's just don't coach hard. Let's just mail it in. Let's just survive. Um, but even on Thursday night, you could hear it in the locker room saying, well, let's hurry up and get this over with so we can go home. We already know we're going to lose. And so in the locker room, I think that has, um, there, there's started to be some, some grumblings like that. And, and that's something that we just, I, I think the way you change it is the you, you change the way you approach things. You change the way that you, um, me as a coach approach practice. I made sure that on on Monday's practice, I was overly positive. I wanted to be infectiously positive um, because I was thinking to myself, man, if I'm out here and I'm saying, gosh, it's hot. Oh, I'm dragging. Oh, oh, you know, what are the kids gonna do? They're gonna do exactly what I'm doing. But if I get there out there and I cut up with them and I coach them hard, but I love them up and and you know, and just positive they're going to have a more positive approach as well. And so, you know, it's a multifaceted thing. Um, the coaches set the tone. The players have to follow it. If either one of those sides doesn't do their job, it falls apart. And so um, going forward, we're fine. We're okay. Um, was there – how was Monday and today? Well, I, you haven't had practice today. No, but, but um, I mean – it was as good of a Monday practice as you could ask for. The kids were, were were in good spirits. They were getting after it. They were learning. They were locked in. Um, I, I think it was a I'm good I'm sure Monday they want to get past it as much as everyone else does. I promise you they do. Including us on this podcast, which is <laughs> yes, we're I'm, not reliving it. I'm ready to talk about a win. But yeah. uh, to go back to your original thing, um, yes, the knee-jerk reaction of sports fans is blow it up, change it up, let's go. We need immediate dividends right now. The practical approach is is we're fine. We need to get better at what we do, um, and and we need to get better better at being ourselves um, because that that's definitely not the answer. Well, uh, a tough question. What? Give me a positive that came out of that game. It's over. <laughs> 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 I, um, I th- I think you you have a. It, it was an eye opening experience. Uh, if decab wasn't, uh, this kind of finished the eye opening experience off. Of, you know, decab we started fast and we didn't finish. Gunner we never started. Yeah. A- and so I think it's a, an eye opener that hey you know, what we do Monday through Thursday is just as important on what we do Friday night. And um, you know I think some of the kids got got their got an eye opener as far as that um you know we're 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 gonna coach them hard no matter what the situation is and the expectations no matter who you are are gonna be high and um you know i and you know and i'll I'll just put it out there because i i love the kid and he i i have a great relationship with the kid and he he knows that i wouldn't say anything about him um you know, mean spirited or anything like that, but uh, you know, Ish and I got into it on the sideline, and uh, he didn't have the success that he wanted um, offensively, but he didn't quit. I think that no, was, I I agree. Uh, I I think that he played a a pretty good defensive ball game, not perfect, but what sticks out to me is that. He didn't have the success that he wanted offensively, and instead of running from it, and instead of saying, I'm out, I'm done, y'all got it, I'm just here to survive, what sticks out to me is whenever the kid, I think it was in the third quarter, breaks a long run down the the visitor sideline, and Ish goes all out to try to go catch the kid. I mean, we're, already, we're already down by who knows how much at that point. Um, I'm going to say 40. Sure. I mean, it's a good guess. Um, and he could have mailed it in. He didn't have to go chase the kid, and nobody would have noticed. Nobody would have blamed him. But he took it upon himself to to go fetch the kid, and he did. 
He pushed the kid out of bounds. He made the play. And to me, that that's something to build on. Sure, we could focus on the negatives and say, oh, this happened and that happened and that happened. But how about we focus on the positives and say, there, there was no gain to Ish doing that other than that Ish took pride in the fact that he could do it and he did it. Yeah, and I think there's we need plays, to split it up. Yeah, and there's plays like that by all these other players that it's the exact same thing. Our kids didn't quit. Which yeah, is somewhat that, demoralizing because like we lost that bad and we didn't quit. But at the I, same time, um, they didn't give up. They didn't let the scoreboard dictate their effort. They they oh, were yeah. still trying trying to make plays, and, and that's something to build off of. Um, I do want to cover him real quick because I know people expect me to say, hey, you come on here every week and say there's nothing wrong, so what do you have to say this week? And that's why I'm saying I do – want to split it up on the offensive and defensive side yes and i don't know what it was there was definitely something not right offensively on friday night can't deny that and i think he would admit that and agree to that too but man defense he he was on and and people quickly forget that last year when everyone wanted to complain about what ish wasn't doing everyone complained about his defense that yeah. he wasn't connected. He didn't want to hit people. He, did, I think some even suggested that he didn't care. And then Friday, like I said, it was a complete, <laughs> it was a complete 180. Yeah. He, he, I think he led the team in tackles. I don't have it in front of me. I can go look it up, but I'm almost, I think he did. Well, and stats aside, he, he played with great defensive effort. He, he, was, he forced what should have been a turnover. It didn't get called, but he completely ripped that ball yeah. out of the guy's hand um, right there on our 35. Yeah. And then, like I said, running that guy down, there was no reason that, to do that. It, it, it was a pride play, and, and that's how you yeah. refer to it. it. It was a straight running pride play of I, this play is not going to It's not gonna end up on the stat sheet. It's not going to be a game-changing play. It's, it's, we can't run it on a highlight reel on the it, website. No, but he did it, and that's just a pride play. And uh, like I said, he, he's not the only one that did that, and I know that people probably get tired of us talking about Ish, but whenever you have a, a four-star recruit that's signed with A&M, he tends to attract attention. Um, we pass out... And that is what everyone wants to talk we, about. We go, pa- to the, go to any message board. We pass out media credentials now because we have people showing up because... They, they want to cover Ish. And so I hope people don't think that this is, you know, Ish Insider. Um, but he's, he's kind of the main attraction uh, because of, of what he's earned star-wise and, and collegiate-wise. Um, you know, but when it was There's 12... There's a team benefit to that, though. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, and, and we try to cash in on as much as we can to try to get as many yeah. of these kids out there as we can based off of that, which is why it's awesome that... Um, these these media people come to because they want to to see Ish and but they they get to see Aiden and they get to see the linemen they get to see Wyatt they get to see Crew they get to see Aston they get to see Puga they get to see all these other kids that maybe we'll get some coverage to where we can find them a home and we can continue this kind of streak of recruiting that we've been on of getting kids to go to school to play football um, yeah. and so um, you know for for you and me and our side of it it's just marketing to get our kids out there. Uh, in ish is just the billboard um yeah but you know the the thing is is two losses we don't want to be one and two right now uh we should be two and one at worst um but we're not we're one and two um we're going to peaster on friday night um and the goal right now is to go one and oh um peaster's a good football team i'm not going to go too in depth on them because that's ryan and john's thing but uh you know, that's a good football team. We're going to have to play good football, and we're very, very capable of it. And so, uh, you know, I'm excited about what's, what lies ahead. I'm, I'm ready to, to get past, um, you know, DCAB and Gunner and get over that kind of hangover and, uh, you know, trudge forward in the season. I agree. Um, talked to Peaster this morning. Uh, we are going to have press box space. Uh, hats off to Peaster. Thank you for that. Um, that is um, people don't understand how awesome that is uh, that they're willing people to. People don't understand how a community or an ISD can kill a broadcast if they want. So hats off to Peaster for the accommodations. We we sure appreciate them, uh, and it will 
always be reciprocated. Um, of course, we'll do whatever we can do to help them next time they're in town in Pilot Point. Um, so we will have a broadcast. The only thing we don't know of is internet. They they don't have Wi-Fi at their stadium, so we're going to have to uh, make some concessions with internet and try to figure that out. But but we'll get that done. Uh, we can figure that out. So, yeah. Um, so we're feeling good about it, but there will be a broadcast on YouTube with uh, with the game, and, and hopefully, you know, Bearcat fans, you can keep up, and hopefully we're, we're talking about the 1-0 and o Bearcats next week. There you go. Uh, Which would be in district, and that's really all that matters. Yeah, you know, that's the season that counts. Um, and so, you know, hopefully the, the kinks are worked out, and, and we're ready to go play some good football. Sounds good. You got anything else for me? No. Okay, good. I like it. Off the hot seat. But uh, as always, big thank you to CS Designs uh, in, in sponsoring the show. We sure appreciate it. And uh, Bearcat fans, always make sure you support the, the businesses that support us. Um, and any of your, your design needs, make sure you look up CS Designs. And as always, go Bearcats. <laughs>